Hi everyone, it's Miss Drake again. Now I'm going to show you how to solve exponential decay word problems. Okay, so the question we're going to look at is a fully inflated child's raft for a pool is losing 6.6% of its air every day. The raft originally contains 4,500 cubic inches of air. Part A. Write an equation to represent the amount of air, A, after D days. So I'm going to start with that general formula that we've been using y equals a parentheses 1 plus or minus r to the t power. I'm going to give you a second to identify your values. Okay, what you should have come up with is y, the final value, they're asking us to use capital A for air. So just instead of y, we're going to use a. The initial value is 4,500. R is 0 0.066. That came from this percent. 6.6% 6 .6 to change to a decimal, I'll do 6.6 .6 divided by 100 and I'll get this. I'm going to use a minus sign because we're losing air. So that makes this an exponential decay question because I'm losing a percent of air. T, they don't give me a specific amount of time. They're asking for an equation after D days. So I'm going to just use the variable D. So I'm going to plug those values in to my formula. I'll give you a second to do that. And it should look like this. Okay. A equals 4,500 parentheses 1 minus 0 0.066 to the d power. Okay, now the only thing I can really evaluate is my parentheses here, so I'll do that subtraction. Okay, and a equals 4,500 parentheses 0 0.934 to the d power. That's my final answer for this part. I'm just looking for an equation, right? It says write the equation. Part b is now going to ask me to use the equation above, so use this, to determine the amount of air in the raft after seven days, round to the nearest hundredth. So this is just substitution. I'm going to substitute the number seven in for D. I'm going to start with my equation, and in place of D, I'll put the number seven. Okay, so now I'm going to go to my calculator. I'm going to type in equation that I just came up with. Okay, and I'm going to get this 2790.2341345. Okay, so copy that down. Okay, and then let's see, what does it tell me to round to the nearest hundredth? I'll give you a second to try that. And your final answer should be 2,790.23 cubic inches.